Hey guys, Dave here with Team Ghostware and Cody Customs. I'm going to run through some alternatives to Terrarium TV. I brought you a video yesterday that showed you the Terrarium fork of Easy Flix. Uh, before I go on, if you guys could do me a big, big favor, hit the like button on the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to bring videos quite often, at least one or two videos every week, explaining um, new applications, little tips and tricks on how to use your box properly and I can see one tip I can show you before I even get into the applications here so on your home screen I'm not sure what box you have but on any TX5 Pro box that I have sold uh, any any uh, box running Android 6 you should see this bar down here at the bottom if you're if you're looking down here follow my mouse pointer this is much like an Android phone. When you open an application on your Android box, it stays running in the background. So if, by clicking this square right here, we'll click on it, it's going to bring up a list of everything you got open in the background. And holy crap, do I have a lot of stuff open. This can actually um, greatly decrease the performance of your Android box. So every once in a while, if you find your box is running slow, you come in here, wait for the X's to pop up on these, and just close them all out. If you don't do this once in a while your box is going to run like crap. There's going to be a lot of buffering. There we go. We got them all closed up. All right now onto the app. Sorry about that. I got a little sidetracked. I'm going to show you how to use TTV. Another great alternative to Terrarium. If you don't have it on your box you can get it from the Ghost App Store. Um, I did a video about uh, APK time. I think you can get it in APK time as well. When you first open the app after you install it, it's going to ask for all these permissions. Uh, I haven't updated mine in a bit. I should probably do that, but I can still show you the video. If you have a Ghostware box, do not op update it through the application. Um, uninstall it, then go to the Ghost App Store and get the most up to date version because you can get the ad free version in there. So here's your home screen of TTV. Here's your menu button up here. So you can actually do quite a few things uh, within here. Uh, let's, let's check out the settings. You can actually download stuff and you can set the download path of where you want your downloads to go. Um, you can change your subtitles. And you can use a Track TV account if you have one. You can use a Real Debrid account if you have one. That's huge. If you have Real Debrid, and I highly suggest you get it, um, make sure you set it up inside TTV and you'll get better links to better streams. Let's click down here. And if you come over here to this drop down, you can sort it by a few different categories through here. Your search button's over here if you want to search for something. Let's go back. This will be your TV tab down here. So all your TV shows, you want to search a TV show, click your search button. I'll show you the process of loading a show. I'm not going to play any of it. I don't need copyright infringement notices. So you can add it to your favorites list. There is the icon right there. So if you want to add Shameless to your favorites, there's the play button. It's telling you how to play. Let's add it to our favorites. Now it's in your favorites. Here's your seasons across the bottom. Let's try season two. Here's your episode list. And just click the play button. Gonna do the same thing as Terrarium or, or Cody. It's gonna search for a list of sources. Sometimes it can take a little bit to find, find all the sources, so just be patient. All right, we're starting to get some sources now. If you see over here, here's the definition that it's in, 480p. Um, and here's in the brackets, the sources, providers and sources. We'll wait a little longer. If you keep waiting, usually more sources will pop up. So yeah, just that's the gist of it. That's how you you uh, load 
uh, a stream in here if you have real debrid you're gonna have a whole bunch more sources in here and a lot of times if I would have picked the newest season of shameless I'm gonna guess that there would be better links and better sources so let's click the most current season whoops season 9 let's play season 9 episode 6 oh I didn't see what that said there episode not ready I guess season 9's not out oh wait yes it is so if it's blacked out down here these episodes have not been aired yet uh, this one has aired so we'll click the play button it's going to do the same thing, search for sources. I just want to see for my own satisfaction if it's a newer episode, if it finds more sources. The last one only found four or five sources. The longer you wait though, the more sources that it will find. That's what I thought. So we're getting 720p links for newer episodes. And if you want to exit out of lists, uh, you can either hit the back button. Um, I'm using a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse. Uh, escape button, if you hit that, it will also bring you back one menu. And if you keep hitting escape, you can actually exit right out of the application that way. Lots of, uh, lots of options for Android boxes, so stay tuned to to my channel for more videos on more options and how to use these apps. I thank you guys for watching and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button.